Hi everyone, it's MJ and I thought I'd make a bit of a different video by reviewing Lost in the Fire by The Weeknd and some other guy whose name I cannot pronounce. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look through some of the scenes of the music video. Um, we're then going to look at the lyrics and try and explain them. It's a very interesting video. It left me very confused and that's why I want to try to figure this out. So the video starts with The Weeknd, and I think that is the DJ guy covered in this black goo. We then see this picture of a girl. We then have a statue. What interested me about the statue was that there was this like symbol on it. We then have a rose, which also has a symbol on it. We then have a ring of fire, kind of matching the title of this track. We then see that The Weeknd forgot a brush in his hair, and he's doing some cool hand gestures with some rings. Again, it gets interesting when we see Android Child and the statue starts getting covered in the black goo. We then start seeing some random people who have got tattooed symbols into their skin. Again, I'm getting very interested. We then have this scene over here with Deep Weekend sitting at a desk. Um, the rose starts getting covered in the black goo, the rose starts decaying. Um, we then have this, which I don't know if it's supposed to be a heart or what that's supposed to be, but it's covered in maggots and it's decaying and it's disgusting. Uh, the video then gets even more disgusting with this creepy little demonic hand on this uh, poor girl. You see she's just lying there. Um, of course I get interested because again we're seeing those little lights, it's almost some sort of morse code. Um, then the demon guy is getting a little bit too close for comfort. The fire eventually goes out, but we do see that there's a lady next to like some sort of skull. Uh, we then have some more scenes of the weekend with the DJ guy. Um, people are then having holding a candle under a blanket, probably not the best thing to do. Uh, we then have some more flowers in this chamber. We're seeing that symbol again. We have a close-up of people holding the candle. Um, and then we have them, their skeletons covered in the black goo. Uh, the music video also ends with two flashes and it took a long time to actually pause the video on these so that I could capture them. But those, that's how kind of the video ends. Okay, so now let's look at the lyrics to see if we can find any clues. Okay, so just to censor it a bit, I want to love you slowly with the lights on. You're the only one I've got my sights on. Type of sex you could never put a price on. I'll take it off. you're the one I'll roll the dice on. I just want a baby with the right one because I'll never be the one to hide one. Then we have the pre-chorus and we lost a lot of things in the fire, so it took a year for me to find out. Then the chorus is basically him just saying, I can't lose you, babe. And what we're going to see in verse 2, I'm tired of being home alone. I used to have a girl a day, but I want you to stay. You said you might be into girls, said you're going through a phase, keeping your heart safe. Well, baby, you can bring a friend. And we're not going to read those last two lines. Um... So let's jump into the explanation. What is going on with these lyrics and these visual elements? Um, it took a bit of time, but I don't know. I've tried to piece something together. So right in the beginning, we see him, you know, he wants to love his girlfriend with the lights on. Um, now, if we look at the symbolic meaning of light, we know that fire produces light, um, which is a symbol of passion. Uh, but light also means, you know, no secrets, he wants the public to know and that this is this is love, not lust. Um, and this is reaffirmed by the fact that he's saying, my sight's on. You know, you can only see things in the light. Um, and type of sex, you can never put a price on. You know, comparing um, love to, say, prostitution or love compared to, to lust. And that kind of gets captured by this image of the girl. It's the only image that has got a backlight. Um, all the rest have got the dark, dark background. So that kind of explains that scene over there. Um, and if you know anything about uh, The weekend's love life, he is getting back to with that girl who he had a uh, break off with. Um, coming on to the second part of it, it says, I'll take it off, you're the one I'll roll the dice on, and I just want a baby with the right one because I'll never be the one to hide one. Now, some people say that hiding a baby, it's kind of what Drake did. Um, and that's why he's got this this child over here whose eyes are covered. Um, this is, I mean, the child's in darkness. Its eyes are covered. It's the opposite of sight. 
um, mask, you know, it's got a hidden identity, it's, it's different to the light and the love he wants, he's kind of throwing shade on Drake's situation. Um, so that's kind of what I think that person represents in the music video. Then this one, it's we, we, again, we're continuing with the, the light metaphor with the fire. But now we're seeing that though love can be like a fire, a fire also has a bit of a destructive tendency. Um, you know, we lost a lot of things in the fire, so it took a year for me to find out. What we also know is when a fire goes out, it leaves a lot of smoke. And smoke, you don't know what's going on, things are unclear. And that could also maybe explain why this image is a bit, you know, smoky, hazy, it's, you know, a bit blurry, we can't really see what's going on. And The weekend is trying to figure out his love life, but there still is the smoke in the air. It's been a year, but he, he can see her, but it's not perfect yet. And that's why he's singing the song to just reaffirm his own beliefs, order his own mind up. Um, when we look at the chorus, I can't lose you, babe. And, and we're seeing the symbol of, a, or we're seeing this image of the rose. Now we know that the rose is a symbol of love, but anybody who's ever bought roses for anybody uh, knows that roses are temporary and that they do die out. And what we're gonna see in the rest of the video is how this love can die out. And we see that love dies out when we contaminate it. And remember, he's getting back together with this girl. So the first time this love died, it was because they contaminated it. They did something wrong that ruined their relationship. And there we see the statues being covered in the black goo, um, showing the contamination. And that's reaffirmed with the rose being covered in the black goo. But he also sees that love can die uh, from natural decay. You know, everybody gets old and eventually we all die. And he's kind of symbolizing that whole idea. Um, in verse 2, we says, he says, I'm tired of being home alone. And we've got a picture of him presumably at home at his desk. But what I got interested with this one is that if you look at how the lights are arranged and the fact that there are three lights on the other side of the desk. I mean, what type of desk has got these three lights? And I've tried to map it out there. Like I said, is this some sort of Morse code secret message? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's move on to, to the next part. He says, I used to have a girl a day, but I want you to stay. He said, you might be into girls. And that could be what this image was you know, referring to, to two girls or the fact that he's open to having an open relationship, having other people join them in their lovemaking. Um, that could be what that image means. I'm not sure what the tattoo means. So there's still a big question mark over there. Um, so let me know if you guys have got any thoughts of that. Then we come to the most disturbing part of the whole video. And I mean, this could be a reference to sleep paralysis um, or in you know mythology, there's something known as the incubus, which is a demon that sleeps with people while they are sleeping. Um, this could be extending the metaphor that, you know, fire is connected to hell and his life is hell without her. Or it could have a more of a meta meaning. It could mean something like, you know, in Hollywood or in the music industry, you have to sell your soul, you have to trade sex for fame, and he could be making some weird reference to, to that. Um, I'm not sure. But like I said, what interested me about this scene was, again, we're coming up with these little dots. And I'm kind of like, here's the symbol for international Morse code. Is there a message? I try to use this. I couldn't really see anything like that. Anyway, moving along, we have the girl with the skeleton, again showing that love dies because of mortality. And of course, as you know, mortality is a nice actuarial science reference. So I got all excited over there. Then I couldn't see any symbolic meaning here other than don't light a fire under the blanket because as you can see, the people get burnt and they become skeletons. So I don't know, maybe there's a deeper meaning there, but that's kind of maybe just a very simple message for the kids. Um, then we come to this symbol, which like I said, it appears quite a few times in the music video. And at first it looks like a dice and th this matches the lyrics, you know, I'll take it off, you're the one, I'll, uh, I'll roll the dice on. It looks like a dice, but there's too many dots for it to be a dice. It could also almost be the symbol for XO, 
Um, but again, it's not very, very clear. I searched for this image on Google Image Search and I got polka dots. I know it wasn't, <laughs> was not what I was expecting. I then tried to join a few of the lines together and it said clip art. So that was really, really disappointing. But then I looked at this image a little bit more and I thought, hang on, if we connect the dots a little bit more, look what that spells. MJ. <laughs> so I don't know, jokes aside, I don't know what that means. Please let me know in the comment section. And also if you guys have got any idea on what that Morse code thing was at the end, please, I'm all ears. I really want to know your guys' thoughts. And yeah, I thought we'd just do a different video then, actuarial science, and look at some pop culture and what's going on on the rest of YouTube. Anyway, keep well, and I'll chat to you guys in the comment section. Cheers.